we want Malaysia as a hub for the ASEAN region because we understand that we are in a very, very strategic location in the central of ASEAN and next year we will become the chairman of ASEAN and with this uh, position as the chairman of ASEAN, of course we will drive a more uh, policies to integrate ASEAN as a, as a big economy. But what we want to see is that Malaysia can leverage our position to become the hub of ASEAN in many things, especially on logistics. Because we have the space, we have the location, we have the capabilities, and with the right investment and the right people playing a role in our industry, I'm sure that our logistics sector can grow very rapidly in the years to come. We told our friend from China and from any other country, what we aim is to become a central hub for the ASEAN region in KLIA. Because air logistics in KLIA, if you look at our location and our network, it makes a lot of sense for KIA Aeropolis, especially here, our cargo hub, to become the central hub for ASEAN region. We have the space, we have a lot of uh, land for us to continue to grow in terms of warehousing, in terms of facilities. And more importantly, we have the network in ASEAN. Through KIA, we fly to almost all major cities in ASEAN, and not only major cities, the secondary and third tier cities from KLIA. This is our strength. Because I do not think that any other airports in ASEAN will have that kind of network flying and serving some of the second tier and third tier cities in Indonesia, in Thailand, in Philippines, in Cambodia. So this is our strength. Because ASEAN is a region with 600 million population. Don't just look at the big cities. The emerging cities, the second tier cities, this is where the growth will come. KYA becomes a regional hub. Of course, uh, there are a lot of potentials for us to continue to grow. Uh, the whole idea of KYA Aeropolis is to make uh, KYA as a hub uh, for the for ASEAN region. Because as I mentioned, uh, why, why uh, we are aiming to be a hub for ASEAN region? Because we have all the necessary uh, uh, factors which we can help us to continue to grow. Firstly, uh, this is a huge airport, uh, 10 kilometer by 10 kilometer. Uh, KIA is not just about the passenger terminal, the cargo is a very important component of KIA. And you have seen the, over the last few years, uh, major developments have taken place uh, in this part of uh, KIA. A lot of new cargo complex, warehousing, uh, including this particular uh, complex. China. Uh, this is a new development and I'm sure there are more uh, developments coming in. Uh, there are more requests from uh, some uh, cargo vendors, uh, including some multinational companies which have already spoken to the government that they requested the government to facilitate in terms of uh, providing the space for them uh, to invest and to grow. So I think that uh, the space are of course uh, available. Uh, and the factor which I said that why KYA has all the potential to become a central hub for ASEAN is because our network uh, is huge, is big. So this is an advantage that probably uh, not many have uh, really uh, put the attention to. Uh, you know, in terms of our connectivity within ASEAN, KYA is one of the best uh, in, 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 in ASEAN region because through our uh, airlines, particularly our low-cost airlines, we fly to many secondary cities in ASEAN, especially to Indonesia, uh, to Thailand, to Cambodia. So directly from KLA. So if, for example, uh, you have you have cargoes coming in in bulk in KLA, then if you can break it into uh, smaller bulks, uh, smaller buses to be to be transported and to be sent to uh, some of these secondary cities through Bali Cargo through passenger airlines. So this is where I say that KLIA has all the potential because of our strong network in KLIA, which we must fully utilize. And I'm sure uh, all the airlines are looking at this as well. No, we are, I mean, you, you cannot say that what, what my timeline, we are already there actually. We are already serving. It's not that we are not serving, but I say that what we can continue to grow 
as an important hub and to get more investment. I mean, KRE right now is already serving many, many networks uh, throughout ASEAN and cargo are flowing already. Not to say that we are not doing it, we are already doing it right now. So in fact, you can see that uh, KRA uh, cargo is, is, is quite busy right now in this part of the, the airport. But what I'm trying to say is that we can grow into something bigger. Uh, we can continue to look at in terms of uh, increasing the tonnage, increasing the movement, increasing the flights, and uh, make more cargo liners to to make uh, KRA as a hub. So uh, ongoing process are already in place. That's why this kind of collaboration is good. And we need to boost up in terms of our uh, efficiency and in terms of our equipment and facilities. So we are attracting, we are trying to attract more cargo liners to make KRIA as a hub, to make KRIA as one of their major stops in ASEAN. So the moment you come to KRIA, as I said, you can reach the entire ASEAN through collaboration and partnership with our other airlines. So the government is providing support in terms of policies, in terms of getting a strategic uh, a partnership and all that. But in terms of the actual handling, of course, okay, uh, uh, MHB has to do the projection and put the target. And uh, of course, we are pressing them and pushing them to place more importance on cargo, which they are doing. Because it is a major revenue for MHB as well. Because uh, airport ini bukan saja passenger. Cargo juga is an important component. Passengers, we are doing well. Passengers, we are recovering to pre-COVID level right now. But what we want to see is that the potential of growth is at the cargo level. 